Hi, I'm Subi, and today I'm going to show you how to create a Seesaw blog. Seesaw blogs are a simple way to share a selection of work from students' portfolios on a public class blog, giving students a broader global audience for their work. In this video, I'll show you how to set up your class blog, how to add posts as a teacher, and as a student. Let's get started. First, you have to enable your blog in the class settings menu. So tap on the wrench in the top right corner and scroll down to class blog. Hit the enable class blog button. And here you can create your blog. Tap create your blog. And let's name our blog. Second grade superstars is a great name for my blog. And let's add that at the end of the URL as well. Here I'm going to pick a web address so people can access my blog on the internet. Tap the green check to save your URL. And here I'll choose my blog settings. You can enable comments on your class blog. By default, Seesaw blogs are public on the internet. Anyone who visits your URL will be able to view your blog content. If you want to restrict access to your blog, you can password protect it. If your blog is password protected, users must enter in the password you've given them to access your blog. You can change your blog settings anytime by tapping the wrench icon to access your class settings menu. Let's tap the green check to publish your blog. Woohoo! Your blog is created. Now is the fun part. Let's customize our blog with a header and description. To customize your blog, tap the gear icon right next to the green plus. You can add a description or select an image to use as a header. Tap the green check mark. And there's our blog header image. Tap the X to save. As a reminder, it's very simple to switch from the journal view to the blog view of your Seesaw class. Now let's add items to our Seesaw class blog. Tap the journal. And you can add any item to your Seesaw class blog by tapping the globe icon underneath the post you want to share. Let's try it. Tap the globe and choose publish to blog. Now you can see this has been tagged as publish to blog. And if I tap on my blog, I'll see that item right there. Let's practice how students are able to add items to the class blog. Students can also post to the blog. This is a great way to give students additional ownership over their Seesaw portfolio and introduce them to blogging and digital citizenship. All items that students post to the blog require teacher approval before they go live on the blog. Students can post an item to the blog by tapping the globe icon underneath the item they want to share. As a student, they'll choose their item and tap the globe icon. They'll choose publish to blog and you can see a pending approval has been added to this post. That means that from the teacher perspective, the teacher will have to approve this item to go live onto the blog. And now back to the teacher for approval. Back to the teacher view, I have one unapproved item. And this is the item my student wanted to publish to the blog. Let's review it. Tap review. And you can see my item has a publish to blog header at the top of it. If you don't approve of this item being added to the blog, you can tap the red trash can to either delete the item from the class or remove it from the blog. If you approve that the item can be added to the class blog, tap the green check mark. Now it's been added to the blog. If you switch to the blog tab, we can see the item there and any item that we've previously published. You can delete items off of your blog from the blog view by tapping the blog icon and choosing remove. And now our item's been deleted off of our blog. It's so easy to publish and remove items from your Seesaw class blog. Your students can also view your blog by clicking on the blog tab in their Seesaw app or on the Seesaw website. Other visitors can visit your blog on the web by typing in your blog URL to any browser. And don't forget, for each new year when you create your new class, you need a new blog with a new URL. 
Sharing your blog URL is a perfect way to share your favorite classroom work with your broader school and other classrooms and learning communities around the world. If you create a blog, please share it with us through social media. We would love to see your students' work. You can find us on Twitter at Seesaw, on Instagram at Seesaw Learning, and on Facebook 